Jman X5, your state. Can I commentate on some tips for the hunting rifle? Honestly, the first thing I can state about the hunting rifle is learn to get familiar with the weapon before anything. Like, for instance, know how much damage each individual shot does with the hunting rifle, no matter what the enemy has. For instance, with armor and without armor. So, if assuming the enemy does not have any armor on, body shots are worth 75. Uh, I'm sorry, 70% of damage. Headshots are 100% damage, so you're going to down them. It will not execute them right off the bat. It just downs them. If they have armor on, you need to understand how much damage it does versus them with that. Because I've heard a lot of people uh, state when they use a hunting rifle, if they shoot two body shots when someone has armor on, they're expecting to get a down. There's a reason that you don't get a down. When someone has armor on and you shoot them with a the hunting rifle, it does 25% damage. Assuming that you shoot them in the chest again, it's 70% more damage. That's 25 plus 70%, of course. That's only going to be 95% damage. It leaves them with just a sliver of health. What the fuck was that? I'm sorry. That was definitely not to commentate, but, um... <laughs> I stood next to the uh, freaking uh, wall, and it just shot me in the middle of the street, and they started shooting me. I'm not sure what just happened. Anyway... If you headshot someone and they have armor, like they have a helmet on, it's 75% damage. So the best route to do is if you get, like, hit someone's armor off and they haven't healed, for instance, you get a body shot, takes their armor off, the best thing you could do is shoot their helmet and you'll down them because it's 75 plus 25%. Another tip I could give you in regards to using the hunting rifle is... Learning how to kind of run and gun with it, experiment with it a little bit, and see what fix, uh, kind of fits your play style. I know a lot of people, they hard scope. They sit there and wait for people to peek their heads up, and they go for the headshots. There's honestly nothing wrong with that. It's a sniper. That happens. But there's a few different techniques you can utilize with a hunting rifle that you could use to your benefit. One of them would be, honestly, drag scoping. That means when you aim down the sights, with how the auto aim works... It usually goes to the left of that head whenever it zooms in. Like, I'll let's see if I can give you a prime example here. When I zoom in, it's going to be to the left, and I'm going to slightly drag it to the right and up when I zoom in on him. Assuming I don't die from this bomb. And I missed the headshot. But you see what I mean? When I zoomed in, even though it was point blank, I knew that the headshot was going to be right there, and I'd just drag it slightly to the up and to the right, and generally speaking, you can get a headshot from it. Long distance, it works a lot easier than point blank. I'll say that much. I don't know why, but that's just how the auto aim works. Another thing I might suggest with using the hunting rifle is getting familiar with which pistol fits your playstyle best with a hunting rifle. I would personally suggest to use the revolver with the hunting rifle most of all. Reason being is... Most of the time, you're going to be hitting body shots, and they're not going to have armor on with a hunting rifle. So we already went over that the hunting rifle does 70% damage on the body. The pistol, or the revolver, does 35% in body shots. Honestly, I'm just going to say this now. Getting familiar with how much damage a weapon does with, when the enemy has armor and without armor is going to be a great service long term if you plan on playing The Last of Us re uh, multiplayer long term. Straight up. So, for instance, if I shot that guy again, I would down him again. Or I would down him, because he does a total of 105% damage with two body shots. One from the hunting rifle, one with the revolver. There's no other pistol if you get two body shots. that will actually complement that as such. Honestly, uh, prime example right there. One shot with both, downed him. Oh no. Got yeah, heals for you, bud. Nice one, Dan. <laughs> it almost did not work out too hot. But I used to use, like, the Enforcer and 9mm and other pistols with my hunting rifle class because I like to be able to fire, sh you know, very fast, close range. But honestly, if you just make two accurate uh, body shots close range, 
you can do work, to say the least. You can also kind of bob and weave. Honestly, learning how long of a uh, reload speed is in between bullets can be a great service to you. Well, apparently I caught that freaking Molotov. I didn't even know he was there. I was just making an example to f show you <laughs> the time between getting uh, shots off. This uh, next match, I'll use the hunting rifle and I'll actually do a little bit of running and gunning with my sniper rifle. And show you what I mean about kind of doing the whole quote-unquote bob and weave technique. Basically, you pop a shot off and you're tr basically going for just body shots. And in between the shots, you're going to continuously bob and weave. Bob and weave is just where you kind of dip and move to the side, shoot again, move to the side. And in that time period of you moving is actually the same time period it takes for you to put another bullet into the chamber to fire it. And all that does is makes it very hard for them to shoot you.